Today we will learn how to use a dichotomous key. What is a dichotomous key? Let's first look at the Greek prefix in the word dichotomous, di. It means two, twice, or double. We see it used in the words dioxide, as in carbon dioxide, which is a compound made of one carbon atom and two oxygen atoms. Dialogue is another word for the prefix di. It is conversation between two people. So knowing that information, how does that help us with the meaning of dichotomous? A dichotomous key is a series of paired questions which lead to the identification of an item. It is commonly seen written vertically, branching down from the paired statements, or as a table of paired statements leading to the next set of paired statements. Okay, let's go ahead and try to follow the path of a dichotomous key with a familiar topic, money. On this slide, we see a picture of paper money and coins. Also provided is the dichotomous key to help us identify our mystery coin. Let's pretend we do not know what coin this picture is showing. Let's look at the first set of paired questions. Is it made of metal? Yes or no? Our coin is made of metal, meaning it's not paper money, so we follow the directions that tells us to go on to question two. Is it a silver type color? Yes or no? Our mystery coin is silver in color, so we would answer yes. That being the case, we go to question three. Is the outer edge smooth? After closer observation of our coin, we see that it does indeed have smooth edges. Therefore, we have utilized our dichotomous key for money identification to find out that our mystery coin is a nickel. Let's do another example, this time with a living organism. Here is our mystery organism. Here is our dichotomous table that will help us identify our organism. Our first set of questions asks if our organism has six legs or does not have six legs. Ours does have six legs, so let's follow the branch. The next set of paired statements are has antennae or no antennae. Our organism does have antennae. That branch leads us to our final statements, large hind legs for hopping or no large legs for hopping. Our organism does have large legs for hopping, so our organism is a grasshopper.